watch from here. Before it actually there. starts. Up in the north turn, who is up there? I see a red boat. That Probably must be Jeff Bernard. And who is that? It's John Peterrett is coming down the front straightaway here. Behind uh, behind him is going to be Jeff Bernard. As you said, he's going to come down. We have a warning already on the U-16. That is the old boy Alberto, the white, red, and green boat coming down the front straightaway. One more of those, and he gets a one-minute penalty. Now you see Jeff Bernard cut across the race course. Two minutes and 20 seconds, 2.20 to our start. Up at the far end of the race course, the J&D Hydraulics presents the Peters and May. Tom Thompson, that's the bright line green boat. And then here comes the rookie, Andrew Tate. He will come down the front straightaway here in the U9 Sound Propeller Services presents Les Schwab tires. No sooner do I say that, he hangs it left. He will cut off the course and head from front to back. And I am being advised already of a one-minute penalty on the U16. The old boy Alberto already, and that seems a strange call to occur this early during the milling period. We've got a minute 35 until the start, and already Jean Fiorette has picked up a one-minute penalty. We are being advised off the official radio. Well, I don't want to speculate, but he may have been where he should be. That is one way you can get that before they are even where, well before the start. They are all bunching up now, finally getting this stand by for one minute down. You're right, you could get a one minute penalty for something other than going under 80 miles an hour. Now, with a minute, no, you gotta be seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, mark. One minute, one minute. Now, I think he's gonna have to go all the way to the outside. Tom Thompson in the line green, Peters and May, that's the JMD Hydraulics, presents the Peters and May, was trying to pull up inside in the lane two. It went away, he got pushed to the outside. And he took a bath, but he did not get the fire put out, and now he's putting on some speed as they go up the back straightaway, trying to reestablish himself in the mix here, in lane one, it looks like the Alberto is still there. Jeff Bernard in the Graham Trucking 2 looks like he's got lane 2. Andrew Tate appears to be in lane 3. And Tom Thompson is in lane 4 as they come around the north turn. Brad, what is the time left for this start as they are getting ready to come off the north turn? Coming up on 15 seconds to our start. Theo Red is sitting at 1. Bernard is sitting at 2. It's going to be Tate 3. Going to be on the outside Tom Thompson. It's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one mark. One being presented by Barefoot Point. Look at the speed on a Sean Pierrette in the 16 the old boy Alberto. He just blows into the lower corner. Way ahead of everybody. We have been told of a one minute penalty on the Alberto. Second place off the corner now. It's going to be Jeff Bernard. Gary up the back. Chris Bernard's got the lead based on the penalty on Pierrette. And Jeff Bernard's got at least a two rooster tail lead already on Andrew Tate in the U9. Tom Thompson following within his rooster tail. Tom Thompson is behind, and then we are looking at Thea Red coming off the north turn in the old boy Alberto. Jeff Bernard is right behind him, but we believe he is in first place. Andrew Tate coming out. He is still in lane three, and Tom Thompson taking up the last in lane four. Three down. Thea Red comes across our finish line in first place. He appears to be leading on the water, but we are advised of a one-minute penalty. Your race is going to be for what appears to be second and third on the water. But based on the penalty, this is your race for first place. Andrew Tate is going to try and run down Jeff Bernard. He's going to have to do it on the outside, Gary. Watch him down the back stretch. That's the boat race. Andrew Tate, that beautiful Les Schwab tire. U9 is going to try it. He's got faster speed. We've seen it all Saturday, yesterday and today. But Jeff Bernard has still got more of the rooster tail lead as they shoot up the back straight and approach the north turn. John Theoret, meanwhile, looks like he is way up front, but he has a penalty. Jeff Bernard is still hanging on the hook. He's bringing off the north turn. He is in first place. The start was good. Here comes Bernard. And Andrew Tate still does not want to give up as they finish this lap. Coming down to put two in the books with one to go. Jean Fioret appears to be your leader. He is not. It is Jeff Bernard. But Andrew Tate is closing water. The race is for first place. Tate has made up ground. But this is the third lap. If Tate's going to get it, he's going to have to do it now, Gary. They're coming off the exit pit. Tate's got that U9 wound up on the
the outside. Gavin Jim Bernard just turned an excellent turn tight on the boys, but Andrew Tate too, did it quicker. He is within the reach of him now. Coming up the back straight away, Andrew Tate in the U9 trying to catch up to Jim Bernard in the seventh. They are deck to deck up the back stretch right now. Tate's actually got a little bit of a lead on the outside. This upper corner is going to tell. This is the checkered flag lap. Now Tate opens up about three boat lengths, but he's got the bigger course to run. Off the exit pin, it's a charge to the checkered flag. Drag race off the corner. I think it's going to be Tate on the outside. Andrew Tate driving the nine. He's going to do it. The showing us a lot of water. Putting a lot of air out of the boat as he comes across the start finish line. Andrew Tate in the Sounder Pillars Les Schwab really put together a beautiful third lap. And a great run for Jeff Bernard and the U7, the Grand Trucking 2. Now coming down to pick up third place and solid third place points for checking on the. We've got a one minute penalty on the U11. The JD Hydraulics presents Peters and May. So Tom Thompson had something happen with him. He gets a one-minute penalty, and the person who is going to get the big benefit out of that is going to be Jean Fioret, who is up front, out front of everybody. He also got a one-minute penalty, but due to the fact there was only four boats in the heat, and two of them got one-minute penalties, Fioret is now going to pick up third place points in the Alberto. But Gary, what great racing we had technically in second third place but it really was the race out front yeah andrew tate in the u9 sound propeller services les schwa tires really impressed me on that third lap came into the south turn within a rooster tail and then tightened it up turned a fantastically quick corner in lane two or two and a half and came out of that side by side and up the lock of those folks and those Nice yachts had a great view of the way Andrew Tate won that race because it was on that last lap going up the back chute toward the north turn and he concluded that lap with a beautiful turn in the north turn to come across the start finish line in first place. Beautiful lap and heat. Gary, Andrew Tate. Gary, a couple of things about Andrew Tate in that heat. Number one, I was very, very impressed with the way he handled himself and that boat. He was about a rooster tail back of Jeff Bernard when they completed lap number one. He didn't try and do too much too quick. He knew he had two more laps to run him down. He knew he had boat speed, but he didn't try and do it too quick. He measured himself, and he just kept coming and coming and coming. And as a result, he picks up the victory. And also, it's easy for me to keep track of this one. That is the first ever H1 Unlimited heat win for our rookie, Andrew Tate. He yeah. will be a happy young man, but he drove the daylights out of that boat, and I was really impressed with the way he handled that. That's nice to see, his first heat win as an Unlimited driver. Yeah, the unofficial order of finish in Heat 1B. 400 points awarded to Andrew Tate in the sound propeller Les Schwab, the U9. Second place, Graham Trucking 2, the U7, driven by Jeff Bernard. Third place, it looks like with the penalties on two boats,